And welcome back. The Moxie Cinema, located in downtown Springfield, is a prime destination for all of your favorite movies. And joining me now is Mike Stevens from over at the Moxie. Mike, how are you? I am fantastic. It's great to be here. Well, it's great to have you. So we're going to talk about a few selections playing over at the Moxie this month. So first up is a film called Broker. What do I need to know about this? So this is a Korean language film by a fantastic director named Corey Ada, and he's best known for a movie called Shoplifters, which won the big prize at the Cannes Film Festival a couple of years ago. And he specializes in kind of focusing on makeshift families, super humane portrayals, and this is the exact same thing. Of uh, The setup basically is, um, my, my short pitch is, it's a tender drama about human trafficking, which mm. <laughs> that's hard to believe, but somehow he pulls it off. Basically, it's two brokers of orphaned children that um, in Korea, South Korea that um, circumvent the bureaucratic adoption process to give affluent couples uh, a needed child. And they find themselves with a mother who wants to follow along with them to um, make sure that her child is adopted into a great mm -hmm. family. And so it's kind of a quiet road trip about these uh, gentle souls that um, that find themselves in difficult situations. So it's, it's kind of, it could be a crime caper in somebody else's hands, but in mm -hmm. his, it's, it's really this heartwarming, absorbing tale about um, just what it means to be a good person. That's so interesting. Now, um, for clarification, is this film technically an international film or is it just based in Korea? It is an international film, it's okay. subtitled. Uh, it actually stars the, um, the lead in Parasite, the dad in Parasite mm. is the lead uh, broker in this yeah, movie. Yeah, which did very well in award season a few it years did. ago. So, now I have to know too with that, what does it mean to you to be able to present international films um, here in Springfield? Because that's not something that we get access to a lot. It's really one of my favorite things, that in class films to be able to bring the rest of the world to the Ozarks yeah. is absolutely one of my favorite things about being at the Moxie. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really so special. Okay, so another film you've got showing this month is from the 70s, and it's called Days of Heaven. What do I need to know about this one? So this movie kicks off our Essential Art House series for 2023, where, where basically we showcase once a month a film that we think of as uh, so important it should be in the canon of art house films. <laughs> and this is, uh, first and foremost, this is a film by Terrence Malick, the American director. It's his second movie, arguably his masterpiece, um, and it stars Richard Gere, Brooke Adams, and Sam Shepard. And um, Richard Gere and Brooke Adams are a couple on the run from uh, a crime they committed in the north, and they find themselves in, they land in the panhandle, and he's a farm laborer there, and he kind of schemes up a plan to uh, have Brooke Adams, his, his uh, you know, his love of his life, Mary Sam Shepard, who's an uh, mm. ailing farmer, but incredibly wealthy, as a way to get their share of his fortune. Uh, so that's kind of the plot, but really this is this kind of, well, I heard one person describe it as a screen poem. Just <laughs> just gorgeous images of, of waves of grain. You, you get, you watch this movie and you realize, oh, that's why that amber, amber waves of grain is in, huh. in the, uh, in that great song. Um, so this is, uh, w one critic said, Without a doubt, this is the most gorgeously photographed film of all time. Mm. So it's something that's great to see live, um, great to see big. Yeah. And, and is also, as a member of the Moxie, you get into those uh, any of those movies for free. So that's something we love doing. Well, that's amazing. Now, also, maybe there's um, you know people out there that like to indulge in older movies but haven't seen this specific film. What are they going to love most about it? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's just that it's something that looks beautiful big. The, the bigger you can see it, the better it's going to look, uh, the more details you get, and, and also it just will kind of calm you down and, and watch these scenes unfold yeah. of, of, uh, of turn-of-the-century America. Yeah, absolutely. So they have to go check it out at the Moxie. There you go. <laughs> That's my argument. So the final film we're going to talk about is called Living. Tell me about this one. Stars Bill Nye, and he is up for an Oscar almost for sure for this performance. It's adapted from the Kurosawa film called Ikiru, and it's about a humorless bureaucrat who gets a um, cancer diagnosis that is terminal and uh, realizes he wants to figure out what he wants to do with the rest of his days. And so, uh, long story short, it's figuring out what we want to do while we're living, what we mm -hmm. want to do with our lives. How do you think people are going to relate to that? Well, what, one of the things I love about it, it sounds pretentious, but it's just this portrayal of, largely because of Nye's performance, Yeah. A uh, real humane portrayal of, of somebody coming to terms with their mortality and, mm. and how to live. Yeah, that just like humane aspect, which I love. 
Okay, also, um, a really awesome program that the Moxie does is called Moxie Mornings, and it's returning here in a few weeks, so remind people what this is. This is a free program for kids between two and six years old. I think of it as the first time a kid will go into the movie theater, and we show short films for 30 minutes, uh, and then we end with 30 minutes of activity. The first one's on January 14th, Saturday, 10 a.m. Perfect, looking forward to that. All right, Mike, tell people if they want more information, where can they go online to find that? MoxieCinema.com is always the best place to find out more. Easy as can be. All right, Mike, thank you so much for being here. And for all of our viewers, go check out a movie at the Moxie that you wouldn't normally see. We'll be right back.